party animal. Hey guys, it's Clarence. As you guys know, most student semesters just ended and winter break just started. Whether it be finally having the time to shop for yourself or doing retail therapy after a tough final season or Christmas shopping, we can all agree that right now, a lot of us need or really want to shop. So from sweaters to boots, for this week's video, I'm showing and styling outfits that would be good for the holiday season. Recently, I've been obsessed with a lot of new trends that are showing up on TikTok, Pinterest, da 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 da. Hi guys, so da 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 da. Yes, I did that. About a fashion style that I like to call casual bougie. I don't know the name for it, and that's not the name for it, but it's a mix of like preppy clothes, thrifty clothes, street clothes, and generally cozy sweater vibes. So the first thing that I see literally everywhere are these sweatshirts from Nike. This Nike one is $30. The ones that I see online on Amazon, if you just want a completely plain one, are literally like $10 or like $12. I do like this one. Okay, so this is the outfit mm. with the Nike sweatshirt. Mm. Ugh. I don't like going into like every single part of the outfit because y'all can see it But I'm gonna say a little bit of stuff. It's a little bit of stuff. I added a little bit of pattern with the collar that I was wearing every time I feel like my outfits missing something usually I just put a ring to it or Put a ring on it Or I put whatever chain I have I just realized that if I don't like the outfit I just put on a bunch of metal this type of fashion of like putting collared shirts under sweatshirts are so so cool and so right now. The next thing I got was this zip up hoodie, like a gap one. Everyone I feel like had this when they were little. The reason why I feel like I didn't wear these for so long was because I wore them when I was little on my pictures in gap sweatshirts. I remember oh my god, story time. I literally had a yellow one and I wore it to this like Dutch kind of city in California when I used to live there. And I remember that at the time, not only did I like yellow sweatshirts, but also I liked jumping pictures. So not, not only did I wear the yellow sweatshirt, but I took pictures in the yellow sweatshirt and those pictures were <laughs> Those pictures jumped, so today I could spring. <laughs> Ooh, this looks cool. Okay, so the outfit, self-explanatory, super comfy, super cool, super chic, super vintage. Pearl necklaces are in because of Mr. Harry Styles. And I think they look sick. From afar, they kind of look like the old shark tooth necklaces that we all wore, like in middle school, elementary school, for me. High school, college. This outfit actually was not from Pinterest. It was actually from TikTok. It was this TikTok of this kid who was like, he got like his half zip up. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put it in. Oh, peep this fit real quick. Peep this. I look amazing. I look, I look a little vertically challenged, but like, I'm. I like that TikTok not only for the sweatshirt, but also because I am vertically challenged. Me and one of my other friends, like, we were literally texting about how like that video made us get a Gap sweatshirt. And then for me, Emma Chamberlain had like a video a couple weeks ago where she was wearing a Gap sweatshirt and I was like, oh, Emma, you're influencing, you're influencing. So The next thing I got was this long sleeve with a collar. It's super soft. Feel it. Wow, I'm actually really wearing a lot of neutral colors. A lot of the colors are super like dry. Nothing super lively. What America does to you, I swear to God. Here's the outfit. I put baggy pants. These pants are actually from the girl section. I kept the pearl necklace on because that was like the more minimalist look. Flamingo. Tree. Dixie D'Amelio. Um, I actually will be posting an Instagram picture with this up and by the time this video is up, they'll be up. So I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. Shop in the girl section. It's cool. If someone judges you for it. You probably live in the South. <laughs> Literally, who cares? What are they gonna do? Hate crime you and Goodwill? <laughs> They probably will. The next thing that would be good in terms of winter clothes is actually two things that I have. A black turtleneck, plain black turtleneck, and like leather jackets. This is something that should be considered as well because it's also like an emerging trend from people who kind of like the more 70s look. Wisdom. Wisdom's like a really big fashion guy on TikTok. Literally the best Vogue challenge like I've ever seen in my life. And his style appeals to a lot of people. I definitely wanted to include an outfit that catered to that. So here's the outfit. This one, the shoes are actually from the girl section. The jacket is also from the girl section. The pants are from H&M and the turtleneck is from H&M. I always like to keep things thrifted for the most part. In terms of like basics, sometimes it's really hard to find thrifted because a lot of your thrifted stuff is gonna be more unique. But overall, this outfit has a leather jacket and it has the black turtleneck, which I think are two really good ideas to give as a gift or two really good ideas in terms of like trying to look cool at a family function for the holidays. So the next outfit is this one. Not the baggy pants, not the cargo pants again, and another jacket on top of it. Honestly, it could work without it as well. So this outfit is super common. I know a lot of college students wear this outfit, but it actually ended up being like something that's actually cool. I know a lot of people hate it when people wear like a Harvard hoodie because they're like, oh, where are you to wear it? But I look, I completely understand. I mean, like if I got into like 
arguably the top Ivy League college in the university. Um, I would be gatekeeping that too. But I'm gonna wear it anyways because it looks cool. I mean, I could literally wear this at home and feel comfortable. This outfit is like in the comfort zone of a lot of people, so it's super universal to someone that you're buying a Christmas gift for or for yourself. Okay, so that was my last outfit. I really, really did love all of them, and I really hope this does help with your retail shopping search experience. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and comment any ideas that you have for the future in terms of fashion, thrifting, etc. During this break, I'll be posting a lot more, as you saw in last Wednesday's video, in addition to my weekly Friday video. I'm I'm super excited to get all those videos out and posted during this break. Also, thank you guys for subscribing over the last couple of days. It has really, really helped. Literally one of my videos almost has 1.2 thousand views. What? The f well over half of you guys are viewers but are not already subscribed. So if you like this video or any video in general or are a consistent viewer, please, please, please consider subscribing. It changes a lot. Please check out all my social medias which are listed around me. And with that being said, that's it.